Pebble is officially dead. Now this might sound weird because Pebble was already dead. Fitbit acquired the bankrupt Pebble in December 7, 2016. But in the day of today, in July 20th, 2018, Fitbit has officially shut down the Pebble servers, as we can see now. If we go to pebble.com, it will redirect us to the Fitbit page. The APIs for Pebble uh, that are hosted on the api.getpebble.com server are gone, as well as the dictation uh, web server, timeline web server, and a app store web server. So, if you're a Pebble user like me, what do you need to do? On your phone, you need to switch to the Rebel Alliance project. This Rebel Alliance project basically allows you to continue to get uh, watch faces and apps as well as uh, get the weather app on the Pebble and get dictation back. Because Pebble uh, paid for the dictation and weather API keys from Nuance and from the weather channel, you do need to pay for the new dictation and weather keys. That, that will cost you $2 a month. So. If you want to import your existing apps and, and watch faces data, you're out of luck. You should have done that uh, before. In fact, I, I th I've been put a Twitter post explaining it. But if you go to boot.rebel.com, this will allow you to switch to the new configuration. So you basically click this button and you will now be able to browse watch faces and apps. Now, you do need to pay for the uh, dictation and the weather app. Now, if you do not want to pay, you will lose dictation, but you can get another weather app from the Pebble App Store, or the Rebel App Store, shall I say, such as this weather app, which is the one I use. And it works okay. Now, don't worry, notifications will, st will still come through, you will still be able to control your music, you will still be able to set your alarms, and uh, basically your Pebble will continue to work as if anything had happened. Uh, so let's let's take a look at how the uh, Pebble app looks. So yeah, health is still going on, of course. Health does rely on the server to back everything up, but you will still be able to look at your health data on the phone. Now here are your uh, watch faces. If you imported the uh, watch faces before when the Pebble server were active, you should have them here. If not, just download uh, the watch faces again. And here are your apps. Now let's have a look at how the Pebble App Store looks. The new Pebble App Store, the Rebel App Store. So you have your uh, list of apps here, all apps, most loved. You can still install an app, for instance, I'm going to install the uh, Timer Plus app. Okay, yeah, I do have Bluetooth, yeah. And I have the new app there. And it's down here. So. You do not need to worry, everything is working here. But here are a few tips in case something happens. Yesterday I was in the pool and I accidentally went into the pool with my uh, Pebble 2. This is how it looks. Now, the Pebble 2 is famous for uh, having like really bad quality buttons and uh, they peel off easily. So after some time you will... Uh, if you have a Pebble 2, you know probably know what I'm talking about. They will peel off, like it's, it happens to everyone. And I basically replaced the fittings with a plastic a fittings that I made. And of course, once your Pebble looks like this and you replace the buttons, even though you can still click the buttons, it's it's not waterproof anymore. And yeah, yesterday I went to the pool. I Since this is very lightweight compared to this watch, I didn't notice I had uh, I was wearing this. I have worn this for the past uh, a year and a half. And yeah, I went to the pool and uh, 
basically started uh, vibrating when I got out. Then it showed the black screen with Pebble logo and it shut off. So that was a very sad firewall. And yeah, I can't do anything about it now. But fortunately, I do have my backup Pebble here. If you can buy a spare Pebble, if not, try to buy extra straps, extra chargers, extra battery if you, if you can find it. Get a screen protector like I do. That way you don't have you won't have any scratches. Also, there is a possibility that a future f a software update for your phone will remove compatibility with some of the APIs in the Pebble app. For instance, Android P does uh, not allow phone numbers to be read without a specific permission that they've implemented. So now the Pebble app uh, won't display your phone numbers when someone calls you. I do have a fix for that. I'm waiting for a confirmation that it works. But it could happen that in the future something breaks in, in the Pebble app because Android or iOS updates some API and yeah, the app doesn't work. In that case, you should consider switching to Gadget Bridge on Android, which is a, a free Pebble replacement app. I'm going to show you where you can get this app. It's on F-Droid, it's not on the Play Store. Uh, so with this app, you can connect to your Pebble, uh, it will push your calendar uh, pins, it will push your notifications, uh, but it won't connect to the internet. That's a very distinct feature. This is because this app is enhanced for privacy and uh, security, so it will not leak any of your personal data to any server. I hope uh, this helps you with uh, your usage of your Pebble. There are some other replacements and alternatives for Pebble. Uh, I've seen the Amazfit Vip, a watch from a Chinese company called Huami. And uh, the, the watch lasts for, for, the battery lasts for 45 days, I think. But it doesn't have music control or voice dictation or anything like that. It's just a very simple fitness watch. Uh, this one, if you pay $2 a month, you do have voice dictation and weather and that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, make sure you get your pebbles now, pebble replacements now, because they will become very scarce in the in your feature because the demand is low and the supply is relatively high compared to, I mean, it's like a dead product. I would, wouldn't expect people to buy pebbles because it's, the company is already dead. So yeah, uh, Fitbit uh, is, has been very, very helpful to the Rebel team by letting them uh, develop for six months. And they, they first said at the end of the year in 2018, but they extended the date to June 30th. And now it's uh, 21 days later and they shall finally shut down the server. So yeah, massive thanks to Fitbit for letting that happen and um, also for buying Pebble, because if they wouldn't buy Pebble, we just had, uh, we would just get the servers shut down the same day. So yeah, leave me any questions uh, in the comments if you have any, and also consider joining the Discord for Rebel, I leave the link down below, and uh, you can ask all your questions there as well, and also visit the subreddit, which is a uh, slash r slash pebble. Bye.